boss here who talks, nobody else talks, okay? Yeah. Just one sir. person will talk. All right. Yes, sir. If someone else wants to talk, you are welcome to come here and run the shuttle run test. <laughs> I think I'm doing it? Yes. So I'm the only one who talks. Oh, okay, yeah. sir. Carry on. All right, boys. This is a test of endurance. This is your last test. Last chance to impress. Okay. What happens is that from the tape, you will hear beeps. Even with your start, you hear beep, then you start. At the beginning, it's very slow. That's the line there. At the end, where you see the cone. When you hear the beep, just with one foot, you touch the line and you go again. You come here, touch the line when the beep is. Otherwise, we take you off. We don't take you off when, when you are a little bit behind. First time we give you a warning, but then if you drop, then we take you off. Okay? Everybody up? One coordinator will run. Will run with you at the outside. Have your ears quiet. I come from Senegal. Senegal. Yes. And uh, what are you doing here? I'm here with uh, the other head coach, Juanjo Rovira, to do the final screening for the finalists to go to Qatar. Okay. Well, when we came here, we were trying to, to observe the same things as we as we observe in every country. We try to select the, the best three players. Uh, we look everything. Uh, their attitude, their speed, their technique, mentality, everything. Uh, depends on, on them. I mean, if they work hard and they're patient, uh, they'll get there. They just need to, you know, take it easy, be patient, keep working hard, and uh, be encouraged. Well, I encourage them to, to follow their dream, uh, to keep working hard, to uh, enjoy this, uh, this uh, incredible sport, and be patient. You know, their chance will, they'll have their chance and it depends on them, nobody else. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Ali Fouad. I am uh, from Qatar, from Aspire, and I am a goalkeeper coach. Uh, actually, we are looking for some talented goalkeeper to be in Qatar project. And uh, I hope in one day we become big star in big league, inshallah. But when, when you came here, have you seen some? Yes, actually I am very amazing and very interesting about what I see here. The goalkeeper here has a potential, has ability, uh, they are very, very smart how they react. When I guide him to do something, they are got it quickly. I think it's one of the fantastic potential I can found it uh, in Africa, Aspire and Qatar you know, uh, starting from Amir, and every responsibility in the sport in Qatar. They are looking for, uh, for Africa like a brother. And they, are, they have like a dreams to see uh, African players behalf of Aspire and Qatar to see him in the front. And if one day somebody say, okay, this boy is coming from Aspire from Qatar, it's enough for Qatar for this. They are looking for as Africa as a brother and to help a brother. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank you very much. Level 47. Yeah, uh, we, we actually do the physical testing, so we look the body dimensions of the boys and then we, we test the 
their speed, their leg explosiveness and endurance like we did just now. Actually what, is it, what this is that we are looking at what is the physical level of the boys and uh, yes they are in a, in a good level uh, for sure and then the other thing what we, we can estimate from our measurements is the level of uh, maturity of the boys as well. Yeah, I'm now here fifth time. Uh, we've been running this project for seven years and Ghana always have a good quality. So it's a matter of developing these young boys further. What happens is actually is that uh, uh, to our Senegal, uh, to our Aspire Africa Academy in Senegal, we can actually take more boys. So reality is that it can be more than, more than three boys also goalkeepers we look in the whole international pool so every country we tested so you, you know if you have a good potential goalkeepers then that's add on and I I would be very confident that from from this group there will be more than three players for sure uh, more than three I can't say how many how many goalkeepers we take or how many other players might get to Senegal but my gut feeling is that there will be more than three we always, the physical side is supporting, uh, so of course the football skills, how the boys play is the first factor. Second factor is that we are looking uh, how, how good the boys are physically and like I said that we are looking uh, their maturity, meaning that if you have a, a boy like, who looks like a man, he is early mature, has an advantage at this time. But five years time, that advantage is not there. So we look the boys who are who are less matured for their age. Uh, we will definitely continue the program, and I think that what what is happening all the time, coordinators, local level, are doing doing excellent uh, job in the local centers. So we are we are catching the the best potential boys, but also coordinators are look, doing excellent job. Meanwhile, you know, we come here only only uh, three weeks a year, and then there is a 49 year, weeks on the year when when the coordinators are doing excellent job in the centres, and I think that the the better is the yearly work in the centres, the better is the this the quality. So even if we are taking only three players or or four players or five players, it doesn't mean that that that. There is a there's a really really good development in the in the whole level. There's a, you know we are getting we are getting good level of players and and excellent. I always say that when we play these final games in Ghana, uh, you you look the games and the level of a game is 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 very good. So so it means that there are lots of good boys who can who can play well in many other countries it's not like that so i'm always impressed that this final day and see how they play even my expertise is not football coaching but even i can see with my old eyes that uh, that the, the players here they are they are skillful and and they have a tactical understanding of the game which is which is great this is the moment that gives me the greatest pleasure. But before we go into the issues that we need to talk about today, I'd like to say a big welcome to all of you who are gathered here this morning. A lot of successes. We have put through 21 of players such as yourself into scholarship programs. Four, as you can see, are already professional footballers. We have been able also to pro produce the only aspire athlete through the football dreams. And that also gives us a lot of pleasure as well. But not only that, in the past seven years, our coaches, our coordinators, our staff have seen through nearly such as this. It is a tremendous effort and it's a tremendous feat that we have achieved. So you can reward yourselves with a clap and reward yourselves with 
what you have done so far. But even when we reward ourselves and we thank ourselves, we praise ourselves, we know the road ahead is not going to be easy. We need to keep on improving, we need to keep on doing better, we need to make sure that our systems, our procedures, our visits, our registration, our screening, everything we do is first class. It's better than the past seven years. We are starting another phase. That phase includes new ideas and new things like the malaria program that was launched earlier this year. Lionel Messi has given his rights and his images to enable us to do that. We spoke about that when we did the launch last month and we will continue to talk about that as soon as we have word of when implementation is going to start in Ghana we will certainly make noise about it because it's not just football alone that we are doing but we are also now hoping through the football dreams program to save lives as well so it's a great 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 honor that Messi has been so kind to offer his services for free and we should never let him down we should make sure that we strengthen our efforts and then make sure that we deliver that. The equipment that you are wearing, by kind courtesy of Nike, will continue to support us. And for the past seven years, they've done so. And we are very, very grateful to Nike and the, and the collaboration that they have with Aspire. I am proud to say that every year, we are able to distribute through this football program to grassroots football development over 1,500 footballs. And the pull up here tells you exactly some of the things that we've done. Many of you have been with me for the past seven years, and I really do congratulate you. But really, today is not about me, it's about you guys. It's wonderful to see you. I'd like to say that you are the most hilarious and happiest bunch of kids in the past seven years that we've had. I mention my name, pull my jersey, joke with me, laugh with me, but you guys are special, extra special. And it doesn't surprise me at all that you have all refused to go back home. But I don't want to be charged with child trafficking. So please, go back home and then let us hope and pray that you guys have done well enough to be selected to continue this journey that you have started. I brought the pull-ups to show you, take a look at them and make sure that you continue with that dream. These are people who were here four, five years, uh, seven, six years ago. They went through the same thing and this is where they have reached. This is where we want you to get to as well. And then whoever is chosen, I wish them the best of luck, and may the good Lord bless you as well. <laughs> Mr. Lavi Sabane, we call him LMS, you know where LMS? <laughs> He's from Senegal, he's a writer in Senegal, and he puts together all this program for the rest of Africa. Thank you. It's a great support. And this is the first time that he's been here, and I need to credit him later on. Why it's taking him seven years? I hope it doesn't take you another seven years before you come again. So we are we are very grateful. So he's going to help me. Don't go away. He's going to help me to do the presentation. So when finals, but it's been a great experience. Uh, so knowing how hard everybody works to make this happen, first I want to thank Andy and his team because without them, all of us would not be here. You would not be here. You would not be here. So it's very important to thank them for the good job they've done the past seven years. Because you need to understand, there's not all the countries in Africa who have this opportunity. So if you have opportunity and you don't take advantage, you can't blame somebody else. You can only blame yourself. And I think he's done everything he can possibly do to make this possible in Ghana and to make it as successful as it can be. But without you, the coordinators, he cannot do anything. So please keep working, work even harder than you have, because not only the future but the present of the present of African football is right here. Absolutely. The kids that he mentioned that are here, they're the present of African football. These ones, they're the future. And you only you can make this happen. 
No one else can make it happen. The person who's at the grassroots working with the kids, they're the one who make it happen because what is the common thing everywhere in the world is hope. And hope is what brings dreams. This is why we have the name Aspire Football Dreams. And for the four kids that he mentioned that are here, that dream has become a reality. Thanks to you guys. So give yourself a round of applause. I think, I think it's very, very important what we do. Uh, let's not take it lightly. Let's take it very seriously. Let's protect this project like it's our own because every one of you is your own project. And it's the sum of all of that, what you do in Ghana, in Senegal, in, in, in Kenya, in all the other countries. And what happens in Qatar that makes it the biggest international scouting football project in the world. But with that, every one of us is nothing. Yes. But the sum of all of us makes it the greatest thing that exists and that will impact football the way we cannot imagine today. Okay, when we started seven years ago, all of us, we were like, okay, yeah, okay, we don't know if, if it's gonna work, how it's gonna happen. But seven years later, this is the result. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> because I'm lucky enough to go to Belgium to see the players play, to see how they're progressing. And believe me, it's going to happen and all of us will be sitting on here watching TV and saying, hey, this is our play. And that is the real goal. So the boys, congratulations for being here. Okay, first. And as you all know, when it comes to selection, even Ghana national team, every time we select players, there's somebody who's not happy. There's somebody who you don't take that everybody thinks he should play. But it doesn't mean he's not good. And many times the one that you don't take is even better than the one that you take. So it's up to you to understand. If you're selected or if you're not selected, you're a champion. And it's up to you to work harder to be who you want to be. So work hard, listen to your parents, be serious in school, believe in yourself and fight for what you think you want. If the dream is, is strong enough inside of you, it will come out in the effort that you make. And people will see it. Don't... don't you always see the person who believes into what they do. The people who think they're smarter and they could trick people, it doesn't work. So be truthful to yourself, be truthful to what you believe, and the best of luck to everyone, okay? Thank you again Thank for you. everyone. Congratulations for your work. Congratulations for the the level the the boys. And I think very good boys, very good players. See you next in the TV 
for play the national team or the professional team in Europe. Thank you very much and see you the next year. Okay. 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 Now, a problem about when say do that time now school for one grand, no cost, no confusion for no way. I'm more more fine. Yeah, more more fine. I'm grand, so much room for play. Now that you be no, and so I go here more. Baby, I want started from a basic. Ah, yeah, yeah, talent. Ah, and the Hamza no, we 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 do them period no. And ah, and yeah, so yeah, time no. Yeah, start yeah, we course no. Yeah, so yeah, boy, yeah, and he will do the highest peak. Ah, we do some type of special. It's too much national team. You took one call Nigeria and West Africa can decide. During the seventies, eighties, and now we say professionals. In thing they do, we know one more time. Ah, and Dubai for one more say Africa. Your talent and Ghana as a whole. Yeah, come on. In thing, are you okay? Have a future because you see how the boys are playing. In thing, they have a future. They were in their final eleven. So by all means, I know they will be selected. Okay. Either two or one of them will be selected. Uh, today's program has been uh, very exciting in the sense that uh, uh, over the years we've been having uh, bigger boys. But this year, uh, the players, I believe, uh, are the right age and of the right sizes. And uh, their performance too has been very splendid. I experienced a lot of uh, energy, skills to attach to my football. So the coaches that keep, yeah. uh, are, they, are they good? Uh, they are very good. They are very, very important and very unique, unique, unique to us. A bobo by Nelson Koye, Kupa test, they are not sure performing. They are just saying, they are not doing fire. How much are you going to be? How many are you going to be? We see our touches. So they control, pass, na skills. We see our degree. They are very good. They are not saying they are not doing fire. So one more man can learn skills. You control that if you are. Yes, some people you need to know. Yes, you should. So be able to coach that for for now. That's why no one can learn more. Apa, more be able to learn. So your coordinators, some coordinators, Mr. George, Mr. Andy, Captain, we need to buy him a bit of diploma. And my friend buy a center. No, I want my friend one so. You need to go. You need to buy one. You buy a friend Edu. Now why? Why you diploma? Pa, you say a diploma coordinators. No. Say my friend, you never find a beer, never could be a no back or zero on my mind. I'm my engine who's a gun, I am my papa. Then Penfue, you and you see all your mind on Cossus and on your mind. Edu, what do you say? I tell you, 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 and once as once again be wonderful. And um, we only give thanks and glory to the Almighty God for yet giving us another successful program. Well, of course, our past standards are always high, and of course, they always bring us high quality materials from Nike. And of course, our coordinators also work hard to give us, let us have good quality players for the finals. And of course, as you were here earlier to see, the boys who are playing in the final 50 have been classic and wonderful and that is it we pray for them whoever is it that we pick we give them their organians and as a manager that's all we expect to see and we thank everybody for a wonderful finals it's been another fantastic year uh, we started i started with the planning way back in february but the rest of the staff joined me sometime in may and then since may we've been registering we finished the registration in july and then we did a launch in august we did a distribution of the kits in August as well. And today we've seen a combination of three weeks of hard work, two weeks on the road with four cars and four coaches going to places that people don't normally go. As far as we do the biggest talent in this country, biggest in terms of size, but biggest also in terms of the areas that we go to. Some of the places we go to are not even on the map. So we are very proud of what we've done. And every year we do so. And the players that we are selecting are fantastic. But don't let me tell you, a time will come when this 
players graduate to starlets, satellites, and all, and, and the black stars, then you see that yes, what this, these people are doing is, is, is really good quality. It's very difficult to, to judge because talent comes with the technical ability and it comes with also the size, the height, and things like that. But we believe that the last couple of years, we have chosen the kids who are closer to the right age. And therefore, that gives a lot of pride that you can see a lot of the boys here are really very, very, very tiny. And you can see a lot of them have a fantastic talent. Every player that is selected, 50 that comes here, everybody has a chance to go. Remember, we have screened 60,544. So the top 50, if you are here, then you've got something special. But it's just unfortunate that we can only take three or four people. So some people have got to fall by the roster. But everybody who gets a chance to come here is fantastic. But these guys, apart from their talent, they have the people, they are the boys that I have enjoyed being with most. Two years ago was very good. But these guys, they were the, they were they were free, they were happy, they were happy go lucky kids. And uh, it's it's uh, it's it's wonderful having spent the last four days with them. I have a second division team when we started 2007, FC Barbarosa. That is my buzz there. I have I brought a lot of the boys in, but those days, the early, early years, a lot of the boys were much older. But these boys, at this age, they can't play second division. So that makes it very difficult, which means that if I'm going to keep them, I have to have a place for the next three, four years. And you know, it's not easy. As chief executive of Ashanti Gold, former chief executive of Ashanti Gold, I know how much it costs to keep a player one year in an academy. And it's not something that one person can do. Not even four or five people. You need big, 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 big. That is the Red Bull has collapsed. Even with all their financial muscle, fine not. What are they producing? They are they all right? It's not easy to see talent. You see talent now. There's no guarantee that in five years' time, a talent is going to be as good as what you saw. It takes a lot of for one to, to develop one player like Messi. You will need 20, 25 other players who will not get anywhere. That's the way it goes, unfortunately. And therefore, there's a lot of wasted to produce that one gem. Lack of vision. Let's take the Ghana's fastest human that we have, we have, we are, I'm involved, that we have, we have initiated. We, we have been able to raise sponsorship money to, to, to operate. How, 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 how does a bank like Fidelity put their money behind an event like that? They've never done sports before. World Bank, they've never done sports before. So when I talk about lack of vision, you got to speak the language of the people. Whenever we are looking for sponsorship, sponsorship, you know what we mean? We mean going to the people with a cap in hand. No. You have to go to the people and tell them, know their business, and then spell to them what you can do for their business, their bottom line, by what you're doing. World Bank recognizes that if we can take at least off the streets, we are helping poverty reduction in the world, especially starting from Ghana. And they can make that connection. So in that, in that sense, it is therefore easy for them to come to your aid because they know that they can justify so the finance is not the issue, it is a vision and it's the people who are behind it and also exactly the passion that they have. We are, me and Rick Robbie, we are four, first and foremost sportsmen, we are athletes. Most people don't even know, they think it's only football. Right? But I was a national triple jump champion, triple jump champion. Michael Hay was my coach when I was in the army. This is where I used to jump, I used to run. So we are at least in the first and foremost. And our passion is to give opportunity to some of these people who are there. A lot of people come into sport because, because of money. They want to build football, they want to do this because of money. We, we are doing it for the passion first. Obviously, we need the money to do the work. But that is the reason why we are, we are doing that. But the first and foremost thing is that we... So when we go and we talk about our passion, people can... Sponsors can see the passion that we have behind it. And we are able, because we are also businessmen, and we have the pedigree of running uh, LOC, Africa Cup of Nations 2008, we have put on this event. And therefore, we know how to develop. As even as I stand here, we are, we are, we are testing uh, Central Region and Western Region in Takrali. Next week, we are going to Tamale. This afternoon, I'm here doing football. This morning, I finished football. This afternoon, I'm doing athletics and tomorrow morning. All right. So, and these boys, while the football was going on, the boys that I showed you, we have gathered them from all over the country, from eight regions. Okay. And their coaches have come. So it takes a whole lot of organization. It takes a, for me, first and foremost, it's about vision. And also having good networks. Because you, you need to go to people who you can talk to, who can listen to what you have. But you need to have a good product. And you need to package it properly. So the finance is not, is not an issue. The money is there. It must be, the money is there. People are doing corporate responsibility. They're putting money into building so many things. If you go there and then you show them how sports can enhance their business, they will listen. 
and especially if, for example, for example, we have brought Fidelity Bank and uh, Technophones, who are our sponsors for Ghana's fastest, to organize an asset pa finance package for the phones and then the tablet. And it was through Ghana's fastest. So the phones are being bought through us. That's the point. So it's not about finance, it's about vision, it's about doing the job.